Hello Divine Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley and I am here with some downloads for you guys. As you come in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I'm doing well. So you guys, I hope it's not too dark for y'all, but I have to get uh, these downloads out. I um, From the channel message I have yesterday, I just got so many downloads. That's why I have these notes, you guys. So um, like basically... The download I got is they should have never done this. Like they should have never done this. This car this uh karmic ex that teamed together with another karmic to spiritually attack you and go against you. Okay. Um this person, your ex know that they are receiving karma. Over what they've done to you. This person knows. They got the clarity. They got the confirmation that they are receiving this harsh judgment because of the decision they made to team together with a karmic to betray you, to go against you, and hopes to destroy you. Okay? Um, this person, they, they know they receiving this harsh judgment because they are in an eight of swords at this moment. This this person is in a in, in a mental uh a mental prison, okay? This person knows like God don't, trust me, God gave this person the clarity, all right? God gave this person the enlightenment. They they know why why they are going through what they're going through, okay? Um the most kind. Okay, so this person ultimately with this karmic, this karmic couple tried to sacrifice you to some type of demonic entity. This person did this to prove to this karmic that they no longer loves you. Okay. Um, this is like this energy. It's uh it's giving me that this karmic energy was so very narcissistic, okay? Both of these energies were narcissistic, okay? And when you detach from this ex, this person went to someone ten times just as worse as they are, all right? This this the part the, the energy your ex ended up with was ultimately their karma, okay? Um and God gave this ex numerous of uh, uh, signs and synchronicities about this connection. Okay, this person ignored their intuition fully. Okay, this person ignored the signs. This person ignored their intuition. This person uh, ignored their emotions. Okay, this person literally ignored all the red flags. This person ignored all the synchronicities and signs about uh about this about this union okay um and i really feel like like this person ultimately slapped god in the face okay because this person intentionally ignored their their feelings for you suppressed their feelings for you which ultimately made this person like uh, so, like ignore the science, ignore their intuition. They ultimately ignore God. Okay, I was picking up on an Earth sign energy. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Someone very stubborn. Okay, this this ex of yours is someone very stubborn. All right, this is someone very third dimensional. Okay, this is someone uh like. I also picked up very materialistic, very money motivated. That's why it was so easy for this person to sell you out because this is an energy that literally does anything, anything for money. Okay, this this person was very money motivated. This person ultimately betrayed you and crossed you uh, for money. All right, that's the energy I'm, I'm picking up on. I also pick up. This is the type of person that. Uh, that only that connects with others that only get into unions and relationships based off what the other person can do for them. Okay, this is someone that uh, opportunist, someone that's always looking for the next best thing. Okay, uh, and yeah, I'm picking up this person is very traditional. Like I said, this person is ignored their the signs, their intuition. They ignore the synchronicities. Okay, this is someone that doesn't believe in angel numbers. This is someone that doesn't believe in that don't, that doesn't believe that the universe communicates with us and that get, the universe give us signs. I damn near feel like this person don't even believe in God. Okay, 
And uh, this person that they don't believe in, this is someone that's caught in this third dimensional 3D realm. They don't believe in spirits, okay? This person doesn't have the ability to see beyond the physical, okay? This is another reason why this person ultimately ignored every red flag, okay? Every sign that was sent towards them because they were getting signs, synchronicities about this uh this higher level of commitment about this soul con contract you have with this person okay uh and i was also getting an energy like uh this karmic this karmic that your ex is dealing with or have dealt with knows about you and this spiritual connection and this karmic became very like extremely envious and jealous of this soul contract and this higher level of commitment that you have with this person that's why this uh this karmic was so obsessed okay so obsessed with um getting this person to betray you and destroy you because this karmic knew about the higher level of commitment you have with this person and they became extremely jealous okay um and like I said, this person, this this karmic ex, uh, they went against their own feelings and intuition to prove to someone, okay, to prove to prove some shit, okay. They went against their better judgment. Not only did this person try to sabotage and sacrifice you, it only they only end up sabotaging and sacrificing their self, okay. Um. This person, like I said, they went against their better judgment. This person ignored, intentionally ignored the signs, intentionally ignored the, the synchronicities from the universe, okay? Because this person, this person is someone very egotistical. I feel like, too, this person just had to prove, had to prove to not only this karmic, but to their friends, to their family, how much that... Like, that they didn't love you. They didn't have these feelings for you. This person went through extreme lengths, okay, to prove this. And the Most High is very disappointed. I was hearing disgusted. The Most High is disgusted with this individual, okay? This person has no spiritual protection, no rank, okay? This person, uh, like I said, they sacrifice themselves, all right? This person sabotaged their own path. This person sabotaged, sabotaged their own bloodline. When they did this, this karmic couple, when they, at the time of these attacks, they did not know you was chosen. They was not, they did not know you were a high, uh, a high ranking divine being. They did not know you have ancestors that slay shit and do not play about you. Okay. These people did not know that. Now they have the clarity. They have the confirmation of who you are. Okay. And uh, that's why the universe is blocking this ex from coming towards you. Because I was picking up the energy. That this person wants to come towards you with some type of fake offer, some type of fake apology, some type of inauthentic offer because they're trapped mentally. And uh, they it's like this person, they know they're going through this suffering. It's karma because of you. And they feel like if they come towards you, if they communicate with you, if they give you this fake ash apology, maybe the universe and God will let up on their ass. But it's a no, okay? This person is, is going to feel, this person is going to feel it, okay? This person is going to feel it. This person tries, this ex literally tried to sacrifice you to some type of demonic entity to prove to some insecure ass karmic that they didn't love you. But like I said, this person... What Ace of Cups type energy. This person has nothing but love for you. It may have been toxic, but this person really has strong feelings and emotions when it came to you. Okay? This this person intuition emotions was was always pulled towards you. That's why this karmic did went through extreme lengths to to uh to get this person farther and farther away from you. Because it ultimately got this person farther and farther away from their divine path. This person has sabotaged and forfeited this spiritual union and this spiritual connection. And it's over, okay? I was picking up on Aries energy. This karmic ex could be an Aries, okay? Uh, 
Uh, you can even be an Aries, all right? Y'all take it where it resonates. But I was also picking up the Two of Swords. Like with the, that Two of Swords energy that this person, they had the, uh, the clarity, all right, about who you were to them and the significance about the significance of this spiritual union, this soul contract. And this person chose to intentionally block their true feelings for you in order to please others, in order to please this karmic. And God is disgusting. God is disgusted, and that's period, okay? And this karmic couple found humor in attacking you. They thought it was funny until God showed up and showed out on your behalf. I don't think they think it's funny anymore, okay? These motherfuckers are losing everything. You can see you can see the karma manifesting in, in their life, okay? Um this this karmic couple, they this the same shit they dished out to you, it has returned times ten. And like I said, both of these energies have been blocked from uh, physically, energetically, spiritually attacking you. Okay, this ex wants to come towards you so bad, okay, because they feel like, because they know they going through this shit because of what they did to you. They feel like if they could just get close to you, if they could just communicate with you, if they could just give you this fake ass apology, maybe God, maybe God will hold up. But look, the universe said S as the night, okay? This, the universe has a spiritual, uh, a spiritual restraining order on this person this person cannot this person been doing a lot to try to energetically communicate with you as well te telepathically all right this person could be trying to communicate with you through songs okay you could i feel like you're picking up on this x energy okay because this person is projecting okay you're picking up on on the energy of this person but the universe said it's it's a no okay it's 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 definitely a no okay Access is it's denied, okay? This person is a fraud, okay? Like I said, this I, if this person did have true genuine feelings for you, but this person let this uh this toxic karmic uh individual, this person let their own low vibrational shadow side suck them into this into this karmic cycle and they cannot get out. All right, they cannot, it's no escaping this karmic cycle. All right, this person just got their self deeper and deeper in karmic day. All right, and I fit, I really pick up the energy. This, uh, this karmic that your ex went towards is someone that, uh, is trying, was trying to imitate you. Okay, this person envied you because you are a true divine being and they're a karmic. Okay, this person could have been, I can't make this shit up. Divine feminine mini me's, okay? This person was literally trying to embody your energy, okay? Your essence, okay? I really feel like they both was up to this shit. Like this karmic ex and this uh, karmic feminine, okay? They, like this karmic ex wanted this person to embody your being, embody your essence, okay? And well, like I said, this karmic, this uh, karmic energy he or she knew about you. You just never knew who this person was. And this person became increasingly, extremely envious and jealous of your energy and tries to embody it. I can't make it up. This was someone, this, this, uh, this is someone I was secretly competing with you. Okay. Like I said, fake love. This, this person. This person loves her fate. Narcissistic. Like I said, these, these energies are both narcissistic, okay? You've dealt with narcissistic abuse when it comes to this ex, okay? And like I said, when this person, when you guys detached from each other and this person went towards this energy, okay? This energy was ultimately your ex karma, okay? This person got someone just as toxic, just as draining, just as narcissistic and low vibrational as they are. All right. And this is a copycat. OK, this is someone that 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 wish to be you. This is someone that tries hard to embody your essence, your energy, your swag, your aura. This is sick. All right. Planning your downfall, but needs to be planning their funeral. Like I said. All right. This uh, this your ex came together with this karmic energy. OK. And uh, did these horrific, terrible things, okay, immoral things, okay, just to prove their love, just to prove their love for this, uh, for for this karmic, okay, this this uh, ex.
sacrifice you, try to sacrifice you to a, a, a demonic entity just to prove they love for this ex. I feel like these two did some type of sex magic. These two did some death rituals, okay, to cause some type of ending. But spirit is saying they need to be planning a funeral now. Like I said, motherfuckers are having uh, suicidal thoughts. The same energy they sent to you that backfired on their ass is unbearable. All right, they cannot they cannot take the energy that this this karma. They cannot take the energy they tried to send to you that backfired. Okay. You've dealt with a lot of narcissistic abuse. I feel like when you were with this uh, with this karmic ex, I feel like this ex would try to make you compete, okay? Like, this ex wanted this karmic to, like, compete with you and try to uh, imitate you so bad uh, to the point where, where it, it, it was, like, sick. Like, I feel like this person, like, every person, this person, this energy came in contact with when you guys... When you guys uh, separated, okay, uh, this person tried, this person looks for you and other people, okay? This person looks for you and other people. And this person encourages whoever they're in a union with to try to embody your energy, to try to be you, okay? Karmic soul tie here, whole family hating. We got whole family hating at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, this person, this person did this to you, okay? This person betrayed you just to prove to their friends, their family, to this, prove to this karmic that they wasn't in love with you. When indeed this person had an overflowing cup, this person was upset, is obsessed with you, okay? The love, all that, all that magic backfire, this karmic ex is in love with you and obsessed with you. Childhood trauma, okay? This this person this person suffered from a lot of childhood trauma. Weirdo stalking. All right. I feel like uh like I said, this ex is obsessed. This ex is stalking you. I feel like this karmic is stalking you, especially if you're someone with, with an online presence. Okay. But this uh your ex suffered suffered uh a lot of childhood childhood trauma. Okay. That got the, like this person. That's why it's it's a uh, it's a challenge for this person to express their true feelings, uh, express who they really are, to walk in their true authentic self because they have childhood trauma that they suppress. They have childhood trauma that they never t tended to. Okay, this person did not do the work, the healing, the shadow work. Okay, this person just suppressed their childhood trauma and began to operate out of their shadow self. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this came out wild, y'all. This came out yesterday. Look, this came out in the last reading. All right. Work together with this carpet to cause you some type of edit. Okay. Cause you some type of edit. All right, this ex knows they're receiving this harsh judgment because of you. This person is in a, in a deep, dark depression. This person is in a, in a state of depression, a state of regret, a state of worry. All right, a state of worry. Like I said, this person, this karmic couple tried to sacrifice you to this low, this, uh, this uh, demonic entity. Okay, this demonic entity. And they were not they were not able to hold up their side of the contract. Now the same dark entity they sent to you got their ass. Okay. This this carpet couple is bound is bound bound to this demonic energy, this low vibrational energy. This uh is something about like I said, this is a toxic Capricorn. All right. Some of you, this your ex is a toxic Capricorn. All right. This person sabotaged themselves when they when they chose to work with this karmic. This person literally chose the wrong path. Okay. This person was supposed to heal. All right. Was was supposed to heal it uh, for this generational childhood trauma. But this person chose to go down the wrong path. This this person chose their shadow side. Shadow shadow side. Now this person is in a karmic cycle that they are not able to get out of. Yeah, 
because this person, I, this person was very sneaky, very deceptive. This person was deceived. This person was tricked by the devil. All right. This person was tricked by the devil. Like I said, that karmic that this person, uh, this this person went towards when you when you guys detached from each other, it was all a trick. It was all a setup. Okay. It ultimately was a test that this person failed. Okay. This person literally were tricked out of their destiny. This person was sab tricked, sabotaged their own life. All right. And they are not happy with the outcome. They are not happy with the outcome. You are, yeah, like I said, this person is obsessively, this person is drinking, smoking, obsessively thinking about you, obsessively watching you. I feel, I pick it up the energy of this karmic as well. This karmic, this, this karmic has always been obsessed with you, your energy. That's why this karmic secretly always competed with you, thought it was some type of competition, okay? This this weirdo karmic couple is stalking. Like, look, weirdo stalking. Clarify the page of source spirit. <laughs> the tower. Yeah, they, they watch it. They watch it because they they know they are going through this harsh judgment because of what they done. Okay? They know this shit, okay? And with this facial shorts too, I'm getting you. You got front row seat. See, God is watching you. God is making sure you watch these motherfuckers have this great fall. Okay. These these this couple this karmic couple thought they they would they would get away. Okay, we're trying to cause you tower moments. Okay, but the universe was always watching your your ancestors. God. See, seen it from the beginning to the end, okay? Like I said, I, I feel like this X energy, this X energy, that they don't they don't have the ability to think but beyond this physical. This person doesn't believe in karma. This person doesn't believe in science, synchronicity, intuition. But, huh, they, they, they've been made into a believer now, okay? They're being made. You see these two people? These I, that's like like I said I was like yesterday I was picking up this homeless energy all right this karmic couple could have got thrown out out their house but I'm I, I'm getting too for some of you this karmic couple is it even together all right but they're both even if they not together they're both separately watching you stalking you all right they're obsessively watching and stalking you okay because they know they receiving this tower moment because of you. They didn't understand how powerful you were, who you are, the rank you hold. They know, they feel like you caught a spiritual hit on their ass. <laughs> you literally caught a spiritual hit on them. Cancer energy I just seen. Yeah, two of pinnacles. Like I said, this person sabotaged, they, this sabotage, they, they journey, they destiny. This person sabotaged their life. All right. This person had a choice and they chose wrong. They chose to they chose to go towards the karmic. OK, when God put you two in union to cleanse childhood trauma, OK, to break generational curses. This person chose the wrong path. This person juggled a divine being for a karmic. Yeah, this person did not choose the right path. This person sabotaged themselves, okay? This person sabotaged themselves, all right? This person is in deep regret by their decisions. This person is in deep regret by this betrayal, by uh, spiritually attacking you, sacrificing you and this union. This person is in, in deep, terrible regret. This person sacrificed they two of cups. This person sacrificed the person, the person that they truly love. This person put their feelings on a back burner. This person put, suppressed their true feelings in order to betray you. Okay, now this person, this because look, 
with the uh by the wise this pop this person has a lot of passion for you and this this karmic knew that this karmic knew that okay that's why this karmic this karmic painted this illusion when it came to you and to this uh and your ex all right painted some type of illusion all right now that this person want to come running towards you this person after the illusion is broken this person is now realizing they always loved you they always loved you but like i said they chose they made the wrong decision they ran down the wrong path and it ain't no undoing you can't undo this shit this person has to pay for this shit okay this person want to come towards you with some type of small offer nah spirit is saying no matter how sorry this person is they have to pay for what the fuck they done all right, they have to pay for 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 what they done. Leo energy here. All right, they have to. Yeah, it's been exposed. All right, everyone, even this karmic seed. How does this person truly, genuinely have had love for you? And this karmic hated it. That's why she painted these delusions. Had this this person under all type of. Mental, mental spells, okay, to go against you, to go against their own feelings, go against their own intuition, okay? This karmic always knew the feelings that this person had for you, okay? Like I said, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers found humor, found humor in trying to destroy you. Let's get, uh, let's get one more message, spirit. Worry that these motherfuckers vibrating in a state of fear and worry, all right, because it, it all comes down. They having a huge shower moment, harsh judgment, all right. They, 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 yeah, they, they worry about, about this karma, all right. They worry, all right, because they, like I said, it's consequences. They are being disciplined, okay. They in a state of fear and worry, all right, because they know they getting their shit handed to them because of you, my dear. Love you guys. Till the next video. Peace.